you know, I see wokeism as, as the bigger uh, sh- cultural shift um, that, that got me into trouble when I was uh, just trying to fight for the rights of, you know, what I, what I thought was a, an oppressed minority. And I thought were very logical and reasonable asks. Um, and, uh, you know, and I've, I found myself brushing up against something I didn't understand initially. Um, and I, I think misinterpreted as just confusion. You know, I just thought um, there are a lot of liberals who don't understand that this isn't anti-Muslim bigotry. Um, and I need to, I need to talk to them about, you know, what's really going on. I need to share with them the facts about what ex-Muslims go through. And, um, when they are faced with the reality of things, um, and they see that really I'm fighting for women's rights and I'm fighting for religious freedom and I'm fighting for freedom of speech, all these things that, um, liberals and progressives are supposed to care very much about, they will then support me. Right. And, and, and you, you brush up against this once, twice, and then you just keep pushing at it for years. Um, and you find it, you know, I, I, I'm not the only activist that's kind of in this bizarre little space where they're uh, brushing up against woke orthodoxy and finding it impossible to move forward. Um, and the experience um, over the course of many years really starts to wear you down. <laughs> You know, you have the, the the pep and zeal of a new activist at first. Um, and then over the course of years and years of being told that you're a bigot because you, you know, are, are doing the exact same things that um, other atheists do when it comes to Christianity or, you know, Judaism. Um, and uh, and to find your your reputation just dragged to the mud all the time um, is... Uh, it, over time, it does wear down on you. And it and I think that I started to think more deeply about uh, whether this was the right tact, even, you know, just to um, approach things in this very peppy, like naive, like, let me just <laughs> let me just talk to you about what's going on. And then-